Hello my friends, my name is Dragoland and today I am playing our heroes once again. Exactly. I bought a webcam finally. Uh, if someone didn't know, I lost my laptop. So I bought myself a computer. Yes, I worked really hard, really for a long time to find money to buy myself a computer and also since the quarantine started I began working with my students with my pupils like call them however you want uh, decently so I bought myself a microphone because the only I like you can see it but whatever it has a pop filter so I feel like I'm so cool <laughs> I I didn't have a single microphone and uh, no no Mm -mm, that's not true. I had only a Rock Band 4 microphone, which is, well, not that bad. I uh, used to use it during, for example, a Rock Band Story video, which is, well, kind of um, ironic, no? Is it? <laughs> I mean, because the, there is a part about the Rock Band and I used the microphone from... Anyway, that's the only microphone I had and it didn't fit me, so I bought myself a new one. Yes, I have some money, I have some spare money. So I guess let's maybe start. Well, first of all, our heroes got mm, several updates uh, since the last video. Uh, the best update was... Oh yeah, uh, the one, I don't remember the numbers, but the one where I added the immune state, uh, like the game used to have just stayed shielded, which means that the character is uh, invulnerable. Invulnerable. Okay, you got me. Now it is just shielded and immune. Shielded makes uh, the character like immune to attacks. To just basic hits and do the same shielded that's what shielded does and immune makes a, a character immune to every single ability um, to passive abilities to active abilities to everything and the worst thing in that is that even your allies can't use some Ouch! But you can't, for example, heal your allies that are immune at the moment. So there are a lot of uh, changes, really. That one was the biggest one. So let's just check it. Uh, let's play. I have our heroes right here. So <clears throat> I can actually load the game. So I have some games started already. Which one? I don't remember. <laughs> Uh, let's look at challenges. Just look at this. There are the ticks on every challenge that you finish successfully. Um, there is no tick on random battle because the random battle, like, you can complete it all the time and it's not really that type of challenge. So here is nothing new. I've shown already all the challenges, right? In some video so I don't have any cards I there was no new packs um, I'm actually uh, working yeah I've already added a new pack in the next update which will be 1.4.2 R are we going to play challenges maybe a random battle I don't know uh, I used to I mean I'm still playing our heroes every single day, so I have 10,000, almost 11,000 our coins. Uh, basically, I'm not playing our heroes, I'm just uh, tapping on the game and receiving my daily award. <laughs> uh, I actually hate this thing in games in general, but I thought, like, why not adding this thing in our heroes, especially because without coins, our, our coins, uh, you can't 
play challenges and uh, the the thousand coins that you get after defeating de uh, after defeating the conqueror uh, makes it really difficult because like it's kind of difficult to defeat the conqueror am i right am i right? i I am right. Let's check what game I have. Actually, this episode is kind of weird. I mean, I don't know what to do. Uh, on every single other episode, I knew what to do, and now I don't. So, okay, let's look. <clears throat> we have Ulrich Quick. He calls himself Bloodhanded. He's a human. He's he's just a human. Uh, level eight, experience sixteen. Whoa! Just one more experience, and he will get to level nine. He has an AI system, which is artificial intelligence system. Uh, some stats. Yeah, nobody actually cares. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we have also Philip Raynor. Uh, he calls himself Black Horror. <laughs> uh, he's a mage. He's not busy, so girls, you know what to do. Um, he's level 9. And uh, he has abilities. Astral, or is it Astral? Astral. I will call it Astral. If it's okay. Uh, let's look what it does. <laughs> Not that I don't remember, I made the game, but anyway. It banishes enemy to astral, dealing damage. Which means uh, that the enemy will be shielded and immune at the same time. And we'll get some damage. Um, will it be useful versus the Conqueror? I don't think so, honestly. So yeah, and he also has Fire Nova, which does... what does it do? May cast Fire Nova then being, then, then being attacked, dealing 2 damage and burning enemies for 2 seconds. 1 damage per second. Um, not, definitely not versus the Conqueror, because the Conqueror always gets... Um, Purge, which uh, basically clears all the uh, continuous effects on him. Like, shut up. Uh, we have Ivan Getzman, who calls himself the Dark Demon. <laughs> I, I'm actually uh, kinda not proud, but I think the. All the alter egos of the characters are kind of cool. So he's mage. He ha he can um, do the death pact. What does it do? A deal uh, with the devil itself, itself, uh, which immediately heals and makes invulnerable. Rable. Invulnerable. I hate this word. Um, on an ally, so yeah, basically that's what it does. It is actually one of the best abilities ever. Ever. Oh, and also Astral, that we've seen there, uh, it freezes the enemy, so it just banishes. It, go it gets frozen, it gets shielded, it gets immune, so it is not in the reality anymore. So, okay, yeah, that was Ivan Getzman, and now let's look at Ulrika Hardy, who calls himself a holy human. She has um, the blessing ability, light comes from above, dawning cooldowns. Oh, yeah, that's actually an amazing ability that um, I myself usually underrate, but when you have a lot of heroes that have the uh, the active abilities you just you just use the blessing and save the game uh there is nicole white who calls herself 
Deathless Keeper. <laughs> Deathless Keeper, oh yeah. So these were mages and she is a mutant. So she looks like a human being, a mage, a human, but she's a fucking mutant. So she has active ability coma. Oh, 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 stop it. Whoa. <laughs> Do you see this? Okay. So bug fix is coming. Okay, we have Yuri Dorsey. He's an ice viking. Uh, he's a mage. He's a mage who can do freezing touch, which basically... What does it do? Uh, it may freeze enemy for one second once he attacks, which will be the best ability versus the conqueror, because he can basically just attack the conqueror all the time, over and over, and uh, the conqueror will be just frozen. Thank you, Yuri Dorsey. Uh, because he will save the day. We have Judith Forger, who calls herself the Fallen One. The Fallen One. The Fallen One. Okay. Uh, she's a human. She's a human. She has a shield. Um, she's pretty intelligent though. She must be kinda hot. Uh, we have Christina Iron, who is a demonologist. She can do a blood pact, which basically <clears throat> hurts an ally and then heals it even more. Uh, useful ability, but it must be used with um, brain on, you know, like you should think before you use that ability. And she has 50% chance to infect enemies, all the enemies, for one second, dealing some damage, I guess. And the last of heroes so far is Gwen Black, who calls herself Undying. It's not that cool. <laughs> anyway, uh, she has the Rebirth passive ability, which is, I think, my favorite passive ability in this game so far, because it resurrects the character. Resurrects. You have, for example, the character has 1000 health points, and uh, some creature, like the Conqueror himself, uh, kills the character and then it resurrects with like well let's say um 900 health for example so uh, it resurrects with lower level so uh if she dies she will resurrect with the uh, sixth level and then she dies, she'll resurrect with 5th level and so on. I actually reviewed that ability in the previous episode, I think. Let's get uh, impenetrable armor to Ulrich quick. Let's get maybe something, something to someone know. Let's check uh, here. We have ultimate suit, but it costs like... <laughs> 500, no thank you, no, 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 never. I don't know any vigilantes nor villains, so I will just go on some missions. What month is 16th month? I mean, mm, the Conqueror is gonna be really, really strong. So I need to level up the Ulrich quick. So I will send him on take down the hostiles. I will send Philip Trainer on item search, a hard one. I need to also level up, well, several heroes more, yeah. Let's send um, <laughs> this girl, oh no, no, yeah. Let's send Nicole White on this. Item search medium, let's send Ulrika, U Ulrika Hardy. On that mission, take down the hostiles. I may send, uh, for example, Yuri Dorsey, who is the best character ever on this mission. 
and let's send, uh, for example, Gwen Black on this mission. And now I can send some more guys on some more missions and a couple more missions. Let's send Judith Forger on this mission and Christina Iron on this mission and uh, other missions are too difficult. So I'm gonna send Ivan Getzman on some stupid mission. Let's check on which mission I should send him. I think he should go to Africa to just improve his um, relationship with Africa. And now it is time for the next month. Damn it! The Conqueror, where the f mm, hell are you? I'm not swearing. I'm not swearing. Oh, just look at this. Okay, artifact. You have found the artifact which can upgrade a hero. Unfortunately, it can only level up one of your heroes. You should choose between a Philip Raynor and one Getsman. I think I haven't reviewed this one. Yeah, because there is a new event, a new random event in the game, which is called Artifact. <laughs> so I can upgrade one of my guys, it is either Blackheart or Dark Demon. If I'm not mistaken, Ivan Getsman is useless, so I'm gonna go with Philip Raynor. Blackheart, let's upgrade Blackheart. And now Blackheart leveled up. So let's upgrade Ulrich Quick. So he now has strength 4. Jeez. Philip Raynor now has level 10. Yeah. Oh yeah. Let's get him another level of agility, I think. Wait. Why am I wearing these? <laughs> That's stupid. Uh, now let's go for... maybe... Let's go... Oh, wait. Yeah, that's it. Let's go next month, please. No. Where is the conqueror? Why is he just wasting my time? Next month. Where is the conqueror? That is the question. Damn it. Free item. Oh, free item. Yeah, that's also another uh, random event that there was an artifact and there is now a free item. The world government believes that your team of heroes can become the power to protect innocent people. They are offering you one piece of item, so you have to choose between Super Gun and Mutation Stimulator. Actually, both of these are pretty useless for me right now. I'm gonna choose Mutation Stimulator just because I don't care. <laughs> Next. 
there is one hero without a mission, but there is no mission left, so I'm sure, I'm sure, let's go. Where is the Conqueror? Why isn't he coming? It's level... I mean level. <laughs> it's month 19. Hmm. <laughs> I'm getting... I'm getting... It's month 20! Oh my god! I'm getting really scared. You can't even imagine. Because when the Conqueror comes, he will get all the strength of 20 months. So this is how the algorithm works, like if the Conqueror comes, for example, on the second month, then the Conqueror is really weak. But if he comes on month 21 or 22, <laughs> then I, I, I go kinda crazy. <laughs> I don't care about others. Finally. Finally. Yeah. Yeah. Creature calling itself the Conqueror. Actually, that is not true. Not the Conqueror calls itself the Conqueror. It is world government that thinks that the conqueror that eats the conqueror cut this prepare for the battle <gasps> i need to add three dots in the end of this okay i will add a few fixes while watching this video next oh so i have yeah some stuff uh what do we have here nobody nobody got level up no ulrich what the hell? I mean, 12 experience? Are you kidding me? Anyway, we have another magic shoes. Though I don't have mages. Stars always seem to fade. I'm sure the conqueror has come. So let's first see how much 8,000 health points. The conqueror has 8,000 health points. <coughs> <coughs> What? What? Okay, also one of the best things that I added to the game is now you can click the timer so the time goes faster. On every qu uh, click, uh, your, uh, the, the game like uh, passes one more second. I have to put her in coma, it will not bring her <laughs> back, yeah. I don't know how to kill the Conqueror at this point. Oh no, it gets her immune. Damn it. So, when the Conqueror is about to... Oh shit, yeah, that was... That wasn't a mistake. Yeah, amazing. So, when the Conqueror is about to use uh, the his devastating ability, which doesn't really have a name at this point, it has our Magedon uh, name, but yeah. Well, the real name of the ability is our Magedon, but in the game it is never written anywhere. I think. I'm not sure though. Okay, five seconds, four, three, two, one. Coma! Yeah! And she'll, so she didn't get the damage from the Armageddon. Let's now, oh yeah, I need to use that ability on that girl. Yeah, who's he hitting now? He's hitting that guy. <gasps> it's Yuri Dorsey, no, never hit him. Never hit Yuri. Yuri is the fucking best. Yuri is the savior of the world. Yuri, by the way, uh, freeze, freeze him, yeah. You have to freeze the conqueror. That's the meaning of your life. Okay, let's go in coma. So, yeah, she's still alive. Yuri needs more health. Yuri can actually make her live even longer. But no, he's gonna save that girl. And it will cost him a life, unfortunately.
that is so fun, uh, but the Conqueror has 3000 health, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna lose this one. Um, oh shit, I... Oh, I did it! Yeah, I did it! Yes. I think the game works that way that uh, if you selected the ability, you can use it even if the character died. Now let's click on the portraits as fast as you can, as I can. Damn it, not on that portrait. <gasps> He's level... Oh yeah, she has rebirth ability! Oh my god! Oh my god! That's amazing. Uh, so yeah, now it's just either humans and heroes or... Ice Viking died! No. Yuri... Wait, I thought the this one is Yuri, which is with the scar on his right eye. <laughs> Guess I mis was mistaken. 1000 health points. Please, game. Let me win. Let me win. Let me win. I'm not gonna, but I just wanted to, to do this. <laughs> <laughs> the fallen one died. No. No. Blood hand. Blood hand. Uh, his name is Ulrich Quick. I remember that. I think it's the first time when I remember almost all the names of my team. The second guy's last name is Rainer. I don't remember his first name though. <laughs> um, the girl who is alive is Gwen Black. I don't remember anyone else, so I don't care actually. I still have a chance to win this one because uh, the Conqueror has only six, almost seven hundred health, and Gwen Black has rebirth ability, so. If I click on all of her portraits, maybe, maybe, I will be able to defeat the Conqueror. Just imagine defeating the Conqueror. And you'll be like, just walking the street, and then someone who plays our heroes uh, sees you, and he's like, have you defeated the Conqueror? And you're like, uh... Yes, I have. And he's like, what? Also, I made it this way, so now the portraits may appear like this, additional attacks, may appear uh, outside this like small screen, so you can't, you almost can't click on them. Which means Undying resurrected herself, yes. Yes, she can win, she can win, it's actually the most fucking exciting battle versus the Conqueror because it is like either him or me and I, I don't know I, that is so amazing I actually think that I'm still gonna lose this one but damn it I'm so excited I forgot what I was talking about he has just 100 health Please, I'm dying. Gwen. Gwen. Gwen, I love you. Gwen. Please. You you can win this one. You can win this one, Gwen. Just believe in yourself. Gwen. Gwen, you are the best. Your parents told me that before they passed away, they loved you. <laughs> no, damn. That was my mistake, okay. Damn it. 60 health. Gwen. No, Gwen! Gwen! Um. Yeah, you lose. That's it. That's it. That's it. Earth is doomed. Earth is doomed. Damn it! I mean, I could actually quit this match and replay it, so maybe I would win the second time. 
playing. But no, yeah. your team of heroes. Your <coughs> your team of heroes has been defending it for 22 months, but now it's over. Yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm still updating our heroes monthly. Um, so the link is in the description down below. You can download the game. It's free on Android on Play Market. Or how's it called uh, the game is not on App Store unfortunately but actually maybe someday it will appear there but not now um, so yeah yeah it's getting better and better bugs are getting <laughs> the game is getting better and better there are more and more bugs <laughs> I mean no I'm actually fixing all the bugs there are just uh, several of them appearing on update because like I'm adding new stuff to the game and uh, I'm playing the game to find all the bugs. Um, I'm playing not very much so there are some bugs that I can miss. But anyway, the game is out there in the market waiting for you to play it. Thank you for watching once again. Have a nice life! <laughs> uh, whoa, I broke my nail. <laughs> um.